Hey, what's up guys? This is Chris from Winsound.com. In this video, I'm going to give you a basic overview of how to use the Match EQ plugin in Logic Studios. Let's check it out. So say you have an old mastered song that you really like the EQ job on. Whether it's a song that you mastered or a store-bought CD, that doesn't matter. And you want to use that EQ as either a reference or you just want to reuse that same EQ, whatever you want to do. You can do this by using the Match EQ plugin. So simply select the current track that you want to embody that EQ in. Now open up the Match EQ plugin in your inserts. Down to EQ. Scroll down to Match EQ. Select that. And now you want to right click on the template learn. Scroll down to Generate Template Spectrum from Audio File. Now simply select the track that you want to reference to. I'm simply referencing this one to a guitar, a guitar track that I recorded earlier. Should come up analyzing the file. And this is the EQ job in that, so it's that's gonna come up right away. And as I said before, you want to open up this plugin inside the track that you want to correspond with the old file. Now select current learn and uh, play the song so it, it can read through and find out what the EQ job is or what the frequencies are being used in the current track. Now you want to play it out for a little bit just so the plugin has time to read what's happening in your current song. And notice when I selected analyze, a second EQ line came up. The second EQ line is the very current EQ line that's going in real time. Whereas this EQ line, the green one that's still there, is the overall average. That's where the EQ is going to be left, and you'll see. And you saw that this EQ line was being molded as the in-time EQ line was changing. And now select match, and here you go. This is now the EQ line which has to do with the EQ job in the old track that I selected. Now you can choose how much or little you you can have it be as extreme as you want or just as simply mild as you want as just a little extra. Now you can use the smoothen which does what it is. I mean what it says. It smooths out the lines or as you see if you take Smoothing all the way down, it's very rigid and goes very exact to the EQ points. Whereas if you smooth it out all the way, it's almost non-existent. It's just completely, well, smooth. And this, this plugin can be very helpful if you use it correctly. And always remember that you need to keep your environment in, in mind. You need to remember that the EQ job in the track that you're referencing could have been mixed in a completely different environment, but at the very least, it's nice to have a reference point. You can always get in touch with Chris at Winksound.com and make sure to check out more of his videos, including these titles featuring Logic, now available on demand at Winksound.com.